Boosting and cheating in Valorant is a bigger issue than I and anyone else has ever imagined. I had an experience the other day that really opened my eyes to the vast corruption of the competitive integrity for Valorant. In today's video, I'm going to show the story that I uncovered that shows players buying services to get their accounts boosted to a desired rank, closet or sometimes blatant cheating to boost entire five stack squads, people getting their accounts unbanned after getting a ban and so much more. Guys, this goes so much farther and affects so many more matches in Valorant than I have ever thought. To begin on telling the story, I need to start with the match that started this all for me. So I was queuing with my buddy Lange, and we had a pretty good game with some randoms, so we decided to five stack with them. And then a couple games later, we ran into this. That's the burp you're guaranteed, I promise you. I'm gonna knife uh, boxes. Right. Oh yeah, they have a cheater power. Shutting them down. Oh, no. All right, so let's read that message. Reports do nothing. They are literally a coping mechanism button. Moving on, join the Discord for the services that we offer. Legit boosting, cheats, spoofers, account selling, coaching, over 200 plus vouchers, happy returning customers, and then their Discord link. And that was already incredibly sus. Jet leaves, comes back, and just absolutely gets ace after ace after ace with nothing but headshots. And since we are five stacked, guys, that means that we can only play against other five stacked teams. So what that means is that the other four players on the enemy teams know that this person I miss him is hacking and with that sus message at the beginning we already know that they are getting boosted and just like the person said the reports did absolutely nothing even with every one of us spamming report after report after report every single round and literally jet getting ace after ace through walls through you know through through obstacles and you know nothing happened the game kept on going we managed to bring it back pretty close trying to kill the jet but it wasn't enough we ended up losing and I was pretty upset now I was pretty angry like I really was so I wanted is going to discord server and just like rant out the people but what i found was mind-blowing i went to the discord server and what i saw guys was 612 members with 72 active customers 72 people who are actively getting boosted or cheated through their ranks there are so many people getting boosted or you know account prices if you want to buy an account like a radiant account of 450 dollars if you want to buy immortal three accounts 250 or if you want to get boosted here is the prices for boosting this is a service that a good chunk of people are using for just this discord server alone they have a reviews tab of literally customers going you know on and on and on about how amazing service is how their account never got banned or if it did get banned it got unbanned and how many games are being manipulated by this boosting let's take a look at the people that were getting boosted on the enemy team in the games that i experienced huge thanks to him helped me grind from uh, you know gold one to plat one super great guy and honestly he's outstanding blah 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 and uh, how he started from you know gold one all the way to plat and then look how many games they queued guys this is a game against me 13 and 11 here on haven and uh you know just all the way through a uh, one page two page uh th three pages this is how long they played and then finally diamond two went from you know plat whatever to diamond two in one night just think about how many games and how many any, you know people's night with their friends were absolutely ruined because of a blatant hacker and booster so like i said i was super upset i honestly was really mad so i made a twitter post about it going on and tagged riot i mean they never respond or anything so i just said i just faced a blatant cheater boosting losers i was well, again i was pretty upset i was heated so i i came across very aggressive boosting losers who can't rank up without a service the kid was but the kid was promoting his discord and as people pay for rank what the fuck i don't understand the incentive once you queue and you're boosted rank you're going to get shit on i was pretty upset like here's the uh, you know the scoreboard uh, you know, of course, you know, we did our best. We tried, but clearly, I mean, literally, uh, clearly hacking. I showed how people could like send in tickets to get their accounts boosted if they want and all these different, uh, you know, reviews and announcements and the prices for buying accounts, getting boosted accounts. And then I found something that really blew my mind. I said, what WTF again? I was mad. How are these reviews of these shit of this shitty service able to say that their account got unbanned? So he boosts people who pays for him because they suck and can't do it themselves. Again, I was mad and their account got a ban but somehow was able to get their accounts back and here is evidence 10 out of 10 reliable they were they're very supportive and my account got banned because they were there was a riot dev a riot dev on the other team but shiny adult the two people who you know run this thing helped me with great communication to get my account unbanned i really appreciate you guys again a page of just literally nothing but match mvp match mvp match mvp and then another uh, another review great service got me unbanned after ban 10 out of 10 
tons of wins into ascendant one so this is something that affects so many ranks guys you saw it bronze iron silvers gold uh, every rank all the way to radiant are getting boosted and this is just one service imagine how many services are out there how many boosters are out there and how many of your games that you've played have been negatively affected by a service like this like how can you get unbanned after literally a jet who's like you know gold one or whatever match mvp match mvp match, like significantly doing better than they ever have probably logged in from somewhere across the country or across the world that they are nowhere near and like how can they get away with this and then get your account unbanned now these people who run the cheating and boosting services have so many accounts like literally says i may scrap one of my radiance to troll a pro you know gg 450 bucks so initially i thought they had something to do with this you know famous tweet from uh, 100 thieves asuna where he said i had yay and tens combined on my team and only drew against a person you know who clearly was cheating but you know and, and literally tens and uh you know and yay we're on the same team and lost to this guy from an 827 combat score but it doesn't look like they have anything to do with this but like i said like they have so many accounts so when one account gets banned they literally just go on to another account as if nothing happened now of course they also sell cheats as well and uh they're <laughs> jesus dude imagine spending 500 dollars just to cheat in a free game bro like oh my god and uh you know it's spoofing is i don't really know what spoofing cheats are but uh you know maybe that's a way how they could keep on getting new accounts and like avoid bans and stuff i'm not so sure how that all works and when looking at these reviews guys like it really just doesn't make sense because literally someone is going from bronze here to diamond one or diamond two what's the point of getting boosted all the way to diamond two if your skill level is a bronze because when you go to solo queue or when you go to queue up against these people in the ranks you're gonna get absolutely destroyed yeah you have a charm cool you have a diamond charm but like whenever someone sees the charm and they see that you actually suck at the game like what's the point you're like you're gonna suck like you're gonna be terrible like i i i, gen I genuinely don't understand why people do this like i said guys remember there are 72 active customers i know that i probably shouldn't be making this video because it's just gonna give free like advertisement to these this server and, the, and you know and the, these cheats and all that but what this is all i'm trying to say guys i'm just trying to let you guys know and hopefully let riot know the amount of cheating and boosting that goes on in valorant just imagine like guys these are just uh, different tickets different customers and all that look how many games have been affected by this in plat one silver through gold to plat one so like average to slightly above average even all the way up to radiance just imagine how many games you have played or your friends have played where you like dude that enemy jet or that enemy reyna is way too good for this rank maybe they're just playing with friends or maybe they're just smurfing or that person is getting boosted just to, and paying for it just imagine how many of your games have been cheated destroying the competitive integrity of a ranked game like valorant now what can we do about this well first of all you can put on your big boy and big girl pants and actually work for things in life and actually try to improve at something by putting in the effort and time or like i don't know there's really nothing you can do about it to be honest because until riot bans ips i don't even know if that's possible can you even ban an ip or what i mean like riots like vanguard already holds a significant amount of information of your computer or is it able to where like are you able to look at a motherboard or a or a cpu or whatever and just be able to like oh you know an account on this motherboard or an account on this whatever got banned let's just ban every other account that tries to be made on this is that what the spoofing cheats do i don't know but what can we do about this we we can we 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 as players can't do anything about this besides suffer so it really is up to riot to figure out how they're going to deal with these 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 matching massive operation this is just one server they somehow have to find a way to ban all the accounts that are made on advice until that happens a new account is just gonna be made literally like within seconds and go right back to boosting people who aren't good at video games now since we are speaking about riot unrelated to this whole like cheating and boosting like pay service thing um there's another thing i want to talk about guys and it's like it, of course gotta bring it back i gotta bring it back up uh smurfing and how much you can manipulate a match in valorant with your five stacks so yesterday on stream i was five stacking with some randoms that i found in a game and we went up against another five stack and you just have to watch to see what happens this map jesus man let's see how we immortal You know how fucking scuffed this matchmaking is? Reyna is an immortal. Reyna is immortal too. Viper is a gold three. Sage is a silver three. And Neon is a gold two. 
how now this has happened a lot where i'll like five stack with people and the enemy team is absolutely abusing the whole five stack mechanic where you can basically queue up with any rank you want and it doesn't matter what the 20 minus 25 percent rr that you'll get at the end of the game because if you play enough games and keep on winning it's gonna make up for itself and you guys probably already knew this but that reyna absolutely destroyed us here we have reyna getting their first ace and i was pretty upset i, I was i was you know I, I wasn't too happy about it so yeah there's reyna's first ace and then you know this reyna is absolutely cracked out of her mind gets a second ace on us and then closes out the game with yet another ace so that's three aces now i hold absolutely absolutely no hard feelings at all to these people they were literally like they're actually really cool they were like they're gen they were actually fans of the channel they actually knew me and uh you know they were just genuinely just playing with their friends like he just one friend just happened to be immortal like and just uh, uh, absolute cracked out of their mind amazing player and the other friends were silvers and golds like i actually have a couple immortal and high ascendant friends irl friends and i'll play with them you know i'll queue with them so i totally understand what it's like to want to play games with your friends and uh, they just so happen to be you know better than you but should riot let immortals be able to queue with silvers and golds <laughs> I don't think that should be allowed at all. I think that's why unrated exists, right? So that if you want to play with your friends that are significantly better than you, like you're not rooting the competitive integrity of that game uh, because you could just play unrated. Who, who cares about unrated, right? You're, you're not losing any R, nothing's really at stake. So I will say guys, that something does need to happen with the whole like manipulation of the five stacks. Again, I understand wanting to play with friends, I get it. But if that is the case, then the top ranked player of that team, say the immortal, for example, example the rest of the team the rest of the enemy team should be straight up just immortals high ascendants or diamonds or whatever uh you can't have it to where it's an average between all the players because like we just saw like you know that insane cracked out of their mind immortal was absolutely destroying us even though you know silvers and golds were on the team as well either that needs to happen or you need to put a cap in between ranks so you can't have like a too far of a rank disparity to be able to queue up together in a five stack so you can't have immortal queue up with like you know plats sure you give them mortal cube of diamonds let's make it like a two a two rank you know uh disparity you know cap so say a silver could queue up with a plat but not above a you know iron could queue up with the silver but now you can't queue with the gold you know a two rank you know buffer zone anything more than like a two rank buffer zone and i really do think you're just starting to dive into that manipulation of ranked experience overall guys i was really really upset about how far this cheating and boosting thing goes and this is just again one service 72 active customers and i'm sure the amount of people who have gone through boostings before or cheats before and are no longer affiliated with them or anything really just makes you wonder how many times you got cheated out of a game because the other team and the other player was just nowhere near the rank they should be and it's just it's just frustrates me so yeah i decided to make this video um i'm glad i waited a couple days to make this because i was heated for a while i would have said some really mean and, and and hurtful things i'm sure and swore a lot so i'm glad i waited a little bit before i could calm collect myself and then and then make this video what do you think riot should do about this i don't even know what they could do to be honest besides i don't even know what the spoofing cheats are and how deep these cheats go and if it's ever catchable but yeah if you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe notifications if you're new now with all that being said jippy out oh that was a voice crack